This year, the well-known film, It's a Wonderful Life, turns 76. Each Christmas, countless viewers enjoy the retelling of this all-American story in the small town of Bedford Falls. Originally known as The Christmas Gift, but renamed by director Frank Capra, the popularity of the film has an odd and unexpected history. Hi, I'm Laura Sosnowski of Maine Home Connection, and as I'm sure you know, It's a Wonderful Life is about a man named George Bailey, who on the brink of suicide is granted a unique opportunity to see what the world would have been like had he never been born. As most would agree, it is indeed a classic, but it did not become a cultural phenomenon until the mid-1970s, and there is a reason for that. Aside from the greatness, when it first appeared in the theaters in December 1946, it received mixed reviews and barely broke even at the box office. A big disappointment to the director and producer. In fact, at the end of its run, it lost a half a million dollars, a significant amount in those days. During the next three decades, the movie was generally ignored, and when its copyright came up for renewal, the studio failed to submit a $4 application fee and the film lapsed into the public domain. As a result, It's a Wonderful Life could be shown royalty-free almost continuously during the holiday season for the next 30 years, gaining a loyal and loving following and cementing its reputation as an iconic masterpiece. If you're like me and tear up at the end, you are not alone. It is especially true that at this time of the year, we take time to cherish our family and friends. It is the true gift of It's a Wonderful Life. On behalf of all of us at Maine Home Connection, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Thank you for your friendship and support. Until next time, I invite you to imagine more.